For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 The Apostle John says God gave his Son. The language is that of a gift. One of the wonderful things about gifts is the bond they can create. When you are given a gift, there is a natural, almost unconscious desire to reciprocate. If this desire is rooted in a fear of being perceived as weak or unequal, it is simply an expression of the worldly obsession with power. But if the heart, having been surprised by the joy of the gift, desires to give a similar joy in return, to love as it has been loved, then reciprocity takes on the shape of salvation because it was love that impelled God to give us his own son, and the desire to respond to that gift with some gift of our own is one of the deepest and best things about being human. But what can we give? What gift could bring joy to God who is beyond all need or lack? Consider, what gift can a child give to a parent that brings more joy than gratitude? It is not for nothing that in the Holy Liturgy we offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. This bread and wine, so small an expression of our thanks, gladdens the heart of God, and the fire of that gladness warms the world.